Hey YouTube, welcome back. So we are already a week into 2022 and actually a couple of months into the 2.0 update that added so much content to the game. Since then we've seen several patch updates that introduce even more and even now we are still trying to digest all of the new features and items. And this is even more true if you play in real time or are new to the franchise over the holidays. Now anyone who's played more than a few hours of New Horizons will know one of the primary focuses or primary mechanics of the game is of course crafting and not only do we need a bunch of crafting materials in advance to craft things but in most cases you also need to obtain and learn DIY recipes too. Once you do you can craft all kinds of furniture items, accessories and tools amongst other things. This is also true with the cooking mechanic that was introduced in the 2.0 update towards the end of last year. In order to cook things you need to head to some kind of stove or cooker with the correct ingredients and recipes to to be able to make various drinks and dishes. Now recipes whether they're for crafting or cooking are fairly easy to obtain and can be found in message bottles from special characters, in bloom presents from villagers and a whole bunch of other places. But thanks to recent updates there are a few new cooking recipes that can only be obtained by catching fish. If you take out your fishing rod and do a spot of fishing and happen to catch a particular fish you may find you have an idea for a new recipe on the spot. These are often known as secret recipes or hidden recipes but essentially they're recipes that are learned whilst performing certain tasks and can't be obtained any other way. We've seen something similar during bunny day events where players learn to craft egg outfits after finding a certain amount of eggs. Furthermore learning new recipes whilst fishing isn't new either as since the launch of New Horizons it's been possible to learn how to craft items from the trash series including the tire stack and recycle boots amongst others. After catching various trash items including empty cans, old tires and boots. Anyway now that cooking is a thing the same mechanic applies and it's possible to learn new cooking recipes for special dishes after catching certain fish. In total there are 15 hidden recipes that can be learned through fishing. These include the Aji Fry after catching a horse mackerel, the Anchoas al Agilo and the Sardines in Oil after catching an anchovy, the Bard Knife Jaw Carpaccio after catching you guessed it a Bard Knife Jaw, the Carpaccio di Marlin Blue after catching a Blue Marlin so that's a tricky one to find, the Carpaccio di Salmon, the Pokey, the Salmon Bagel Sandwich and the Salmon Sandwich after catching a Salmon, the Kari no Nisuki after catching a Dab, the Pisha al Aqua Paza, I have no idea if I said that right so I apologise, after catching a Red Snapper, the Sautéed Olive Flounder after catching an Olive Flounder, the Sea Bass Pie after catching a Sea Bass, I'm sure you're starting to see a pattern here and finally the Squid ink curry and the squid ink spaghetti after catching an oct- I mean after catching a squid. So a whole bunch of cooking recipes can be found simply by fishing and catching certain fish. Of course some will be harder than others, for example finding a blue marlin is much more tricky than finding a sea bass and of course this means many of these recipes can only be found in certain seasons or months, however it does give some of the veteran players a really good reason to start fishing again. And just quickly it's worth noting that these cooking recipes can only be obtained this way and aren't found in the villager pool that sees a 5% chance of a villager given a random recipe, you have to fish for them. But what do you think about hidden cooking recipes, do you like finding them this way and how many have you found so far? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course thank you so much to all the patrons and channel members for supporting this content and until next time have an amazing day, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.